There. I'll announce the stream, then we'll be on our way. There. Hey, everyone. Frostpunk. I hope all the settings are alright. This is just gonna be a chill game for us to play. The volume of this game is pretty loud, so I have it down. It should be alright. We're gonna do a new game. New home, main story. This is the main story. If you don't know what Frostpunk is, it's like a it's like a city builder of sorts, but it's really hard. It is like the hardest city builder I've ever played. <coughs> this is like I've heard it referred to as the Dark Souls of city builders, which is I'd say is true. It's like um what's that game? Um What is it? Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. It's, um... It's like, um... Banished. It's like if Banished had... It, it's like if it was winter in Banished forever. And you had to play in the winter for the entire game. Except it might be a little harder than that. Who knows? Because I never played Banished with just winter forever. A new home. To preserve civilization from the chaos of its own downfall, we have fled to the end of the world. We will have to adapt to survive. Who will we become in the process? <coughs> Let's start. Should be normal difficulty too. There should be a cutscene at the beginning. There should be. We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. It's a little quiet. The rulers of old. Stripped of pride and glory. As yesterday, we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We have lost our world to snow. And with it, traces of humanity. We bid farewell to plenty. And for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind 
All the things we once believed had made us. It was hope that pushed us forward. Slowly, step by step, we knew the cost of our journey. We paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. There we go. A new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world, as we know it, has crumbled. So even I question like why they would flood north. Apparently, it's because there were those gi giant generators built there, and uh, mining colonies for coal, which would help warm things up, warm them up. Which is why they went north instead of you know south to the equator. We have to survive. Now, here we go. There's the generator. And there's a stockpile. We start with a generator stockpile. Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we will freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. So, this game is all about management. It is completely management. You want to manage everything, which makes it really hard. Okay, we need coal to power the generators and to heat everyone up. We need wood for just about everything. We need steel for some things, and we need steam cores to build some advanced stuff. And then we also need food. We need to make sure people don't get too cold. It's minus four to minus four. Is it really just minus four right now? Oh, it's in Fahrenheit. That's right. Th didn't I have it in Celsius before? Did it change? I thought I had it in Celsius. There we go. <coughs> it like changed to Fahrenheit. Normally I'd have things in Fahrenheit, but we'll have it in Celsius here. In the bottom left we have our goals that the scenario would wants us to reach. Right here is our building menu, our discontent meter, you can probably tell what that would be, the discontent of our people. The hope meter, which is just how hopeful our people are. A book of laws, which lets you pass new laws. Well, I think we're actually going to do emergency shift. Because I learned a new way to play this game. I'm actually going to turn the sound up maybe a little. Up to three, maybe. Four. No. Three. This game can get pretty loud for some, for no reason. <clears throat> oh, I thought I had it paused. So yeah, we're gonna do a uh, emergency shift, which makes people. That's the new ability. You can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. Using the emergency shift will raise discontent. Discontent will rise slightly. And the more you play this game, guaranteed, like when you start playing this game, you will fail. But the more you play it, the more you start to understand it. And I've also watched other people play it, and I've learned a lot of things, so I know some strategies at the beginning. Uh, the building abilities. Yeah, signing laws. 
Okay. It's basically saying if we click on something, like say this wood pile here, the wooden crates, we can click the emergency shift, which will make people work for 24 hours. And it'll raise discontent. People are already discontent that we even signed that law into being. But if we're going to survive the cold winters of this wor of this new world, we must work our asses off. So we should start collecting some resources. Let's do, uh... We're going to need to collect wood. Let's collect this wood. We have a total of 80 citizens, 50 workers, 15 engineers, and 15 children. Workers could do pretty much every... They're like manual labor forces. Uh, engineers are more like... Uh, for jobs that require higher intellect. And then children. You can make them work if you want to. You have to sign a law for it. But you can do it. So let's uh, assign workers to this wood. Should we have them work an emergency shift? Yes. Look at that, discontent rises a lot, but we need this that like uh let's get max on this coal. Emergency shift. Uh we'll do max on this wood, emergency shift. And then max on this steel here, emergency shift. And we'll get the rest of these people to do, um, I guess this coal here. <coughs> Actually, wood. More wood. And we won't have them on the emergency shift. Actually, we could. Yeah, emergency shift. Emergency shift for everyone. 24 hours working. Hope and discontent. Yeah, that's basically what I just told you about. Right. If the discontent bar reaches the end, you lose. Hope, I don't think, really has an end. I assume if hope goes all the way to zero, you'd lose, too. But alright, let's start. And our citizens will start making their way through the snow. I actually like that it, it, they make, like, a path through the snow to get to where they're going. That one lone person there just making a path of his own. Who are you? Larry Granville. Well, Larry, you're going to help forge a path to this new beginning. And also, we should make some, uh... We'll definitely need tents for everyone to live in. We also need, um... Medical posts. Let's get these resources gathered. During the night, we'll turn on the generator so people can warm up. Actually, it won't even matter because they're working day and night. Sir, people are questioning the need for so many emergency shifts. They understand that our situation requires hard work from everyone. But do we really need to rely on heroic efforts so often. A break would be nice. We just got here. We need these. You will have to stop using the emergency shift for three days. <coughs> well, does it automatically stop the one we're doing now? You know what? We'll, I'll click good idea. Because I don't really want discontent to rise anymore. If it automatically stops the one that's being used right now, then we'll just restart. Not use emergency shift for three days.
Work, people, work. End of shift. Yeah, they all stopped. Wow. Alright. Restart. Can I load? No, that's an old save I had. Restart. That was a total waste. Why would they have it like that? Like, that that's, that sort of ruins needing to use it in the first place. We roam. Okay, we'll just get back to where we were. Uh, Max. 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 We'll actually keep five engineers. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. And we're going to have them build. So, actually, no. Go gather the wood. I changed my mind. And discontent will actually lower s slowly. We got all these tutorials. Skip through them. It's just telling us how to play. Controlling time, construction, resource, forces. Ugh. Oh, what do you have to say? I want to address this now. Let's turn the generator on. And that's just tell that was just someone saying like you don't need to listen to the people when you want when they want something. Ultimately it's up to you to decide what is best for your people. And what is best for us now is getting this place up and running. Steel wreckage depleted. Alright. Now that that's depleted, uh start building like a tents. Actually no. Build the medical posts. Build two of them here. There's more people over there. There's some engineers in there. All that wood's getting depleted. Good, good. We need all that wood. Let's get these tents down. And that'll be enough for our entire population. We have five sick people, but they're currently in in the treatment in the medical post, so that's all good. All right, people, go back to work. <sighs> and also build these huts. And we can actually turn this off for now. Uh, can I not turn you off? Oh, shut down.
Okay. We need a law. We can keep. We, we don't really need to do any more laws right now. What we do need, though, is. We should actually get some food. We can make a cookhouse. Well, I guess we. We can start making food stuff when people start getting hungry. We need a workshop right now. The workshop will allow us to make a... Uh, better tech. It allows us to research stuff. I want to address that now. You work day and night, you hear me? Okay, research. I don't have any engineers because their engineers are right in here. Actually, what I should do is uh, get the engineers off of here. Get the workers on there. Put max engineer engineers in there. We don't really need any in this medical post right now. So with five in here, we can have them research things. And what I want them to do is research... What I actually want them to do... I think I might want them to do drawing boards immediately. Rush to get uh, the wall drill. The wall drill will let us bypass the sawmill. The sawmill will let us get wood via the trees that are here. But with the wall drill, we could drill into the, the wall of ice and get wood through there. How? I don't know. Maybe there's like force in the, uh, the frozen walls that surround us. And that provides a lot more wood than just the few fallen trees around us. You will also unlock the coal mining, which I believe, which is actually better than the coal thumper. So it's just like all around better. And we really need wood. At first, when I first started playing, I believed that coal was the best thing because you know it's like we're in this very cold place, and without the heat, without all this coal, we would die. But there's plenty of coal around us for now. And trees do everything from let you build buildings to research. Like, to do drawing boards r rank 1 research, it takes 50 wood. And we have 241 right now. And we're quickly running out of wood supply. So getting a good source of wood early on would be best. And I don't think we really need anything else right now. We can do hunting gear next when we start getting more food. We'll also want to get beacon early, but I think draw rushing drawing board might actually be the best thing right now. So let's do that. And those wood crates are gone. Let's get a... We get a resource depot down. Wait. Did I click the right thing? Not a resource depot. A gathering post is what I want. We get a gathering post down. We could put it like right here. Or like over here. We don't really need to, though. Yeah, I'll wait on that. Alright, let's turn this back on. The work day's up. People are going back. I'll, I'll make the cookhouse now. We'll build it uh, here. Yeah. What do you What do you say? Families torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said that her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team. We'll send out. She urges you to hurry. 
I'll do what I can because we will be building the uh, the beacon soon, which will allow us to send out search parties. Or scout parties, however you want to call them. Building that wall drill will cost us one steam core, but it is worth it. Food and hunger. Yeah, people get hungry. We'll put some workers on there. They'll start making food for us. They'll turn the, these uh, raw food we have into food rations. They'll start doing that tomorrow. <clears throat> oh, we have one extra sick person. We'll put an engineer in there so they'll have a place to stay. We're getting more sick people. Okay, now less sick people. Okay, people are being cured. Good. We'll just have the engineers in there that need to be in there. This is a part of like, you need to manage everything in this game. Everything needs to be managed. Okay, so now what we'll do, we will build, uh... This is only 24%. We need to hurry up with that research. Maybe we should have researched the beacon first. That may that maybe would have been a better idea. But we'll stick with this for now. Actually, it's not research since it was night. Whatever. Uh... I think we'll get a gathering post over by this, uh... This coal. Or we could do this coal and iron over here, or steel. We could just have people go out and gathering this. Hmm. Then again, like I said, wood is very important. <coughs> And also, shut this off. Might actually build the gathering post over here. Yeah. Let's see... That's, that'll cost 10 wood. Even building paths costs wood. Gathering post. Build that path, people. Actually, I'll just keep that stocked up with engineers for now. Uh, gathering post. Build it here. Build the road out to it. And then along with it, so we're actually going to build the road out to there. We're also going to build... Um... Should we do Hunter's Huts right now? Oh. We'll, we'll need two of them. That'll be 40. That'll leave us with 100 wood. I think we'll have enough wood. As long as we don't have to build anything else. Build Hunter's Hut. Here. And then here. Oh wait, we're going to have to build a bit more... That. Okay. Okay, I think we'll be good. Everyone build... Yep, generator's off. That'll be okay for now. It's just negative 20 degrees Celsius. It's just 20 below freezing. No big deal. Uh, we'll sign people into there. They'll start... harvesting from these two places. We'll sign people to there. 
The hunters will hunt during the night. I don't know why they choose to go out at night. Maybe because that's when all the animals come out. I don't know. Oh, and we got drawing boards. Okay. Okay, now we want to research uh, the wall drill. Put people in there. We have four hungry people. Don't worry. You guys should be eating now. We have 161 food rations from what? Well, I guess since we had 100 raw food, it gave us 200 uh, rations. Because <coughs> every, uh, every one raw food gives you two rations. Alright, the people from this gathering post will be gathering from the uh, wood crates and steel wreckage. We're just going to wait until this research is done, then we'll do uh, other things. We could start putting into law, like, if we want child labor or not. I kind of want, like, a like a dystopian police state. You know what I mean? Law and order through force and power, as well as child labor to help ease the burden of things. Child labor for safe jobs. We might not do all jobs. Just like safe jobs and medic apprentices. <clears throat> or we could do child shelters. Well, either way, we'd have to... Well, I mean, with child labor, we wouldn't have to build anything. With child shelters, we'd have to build something. We'll wait. Why are people hungry? Eat. Eat the food. That's what we have food for. And I'll turn the generator back on so it starts warming up again. The hunters are going to go out for food. It's going to get cold. See the temper the uh the days up here. It's going to get the temperature's going to lower significantly. The temperature will drop significantly by two levels and then eventually the temperature the temperature will raise by one level. So that's not going to be good. It's going to get really cold. We're going to have a lot of sick people. Are those hunters? I guess those are hunters. Yeah. It's going to get really cold this next day. This is going to suck. <clears throat> We're going to need more coal. We don't have a way of getting it right now. We're going to build another gathering post out here. It's going to be really cold, but that's something we'll need. More coal for this generator. We should have gotten this earlier. But I didn't uh, do it. People are going to start getting sick from the cold if they're out too long. Work time. Get back to work. Gathering post. Build it right there. Oh, that's not lined up properly, is it? That is. Oh, we got it. Okay. We got the wall the wall drill. Next, we want to do uh, the beacon. Generator's 
generator overdrive. We won't do that. That just puts the generator over into overdrive. It'll get hotter to heat things around it, but it'll also increase its stress. And if the stress reaches its highest point, it'll just explode. We only have five workers. Alright, we'll just put five people in there. Oh, it's the end of the day anyway. Well, we're gonna have to keep this uh, generator on the entire time now. So yeah, we're gonna need more coal. A lot of people are getting sick. A lot of people are getting sick. Stop getting sick. I have to put more people in there. We need more coal. What's this? Workers needed. There's much to do. Consider signing the child labor law. We could do that. Let's do it. Children, go make food. Start putting workers in there. Once it gets warmer, we'll build the wall drill. Okay, we got the beacon. Let's do, uh... Isn't there, like, wall, uh... The hothouse? Where is that? Resources. Where's the hothouse at? There it is. This lets you produce food. But we do have hunters right now, so it really doesn't matter. Let's let's wait. Let's start building, and we'll see how much wood we have when we start building things. Like I really need a beacon that costs twenty wood and thirty-five steel. Put that down here, I guess. I guess we don't need it there. We could basically build this just wherever out here, or over here. Street's not connected to the generator. Oh. Oh. That might be a part of our problem. There we go. Might be why we weren't producing any coal either. Build the beacon. This is adjacent to a street. I guess we'll build the beacon here. Build it there. Beacon will be built, which is great. We're getting a lot of coal back in, which is great. I forgot we're still getting wood from this. So we could re we could actually research something. Probably coal mining. Actually, no. Uh, hunter's gear. Yeah. Alright, that steel's gone. And the beacon's built. Huzzah! We can now send out uh, parties for resources.
and to find more people to bring to our colony. Raise the balloon! We have two places to explore. The Lost Expedition, which is the people that we were looking for before, and the Observatory. I think we might want to go to the Observatory. But first, let's get... Uh, might want to find out where we can put the wall drill. We can put one right there, which would probably be the best place for it. We could just build this road directly to it. Yeah, that's our best place for it. And we'll definitely need that. So let's do it. Uh, yeah. Why are you not lining up? I really hate you, you know that? Do we have people to put... We need 40 wood. We even need wood. We need 40 wood just to put together a scout party. Probably for like sleds and whatnot, but I mean, come on. That's more expensive than some buildings. And we need at least five workers. Which we could remove from here, from the coal. Or from here, actually. Yeah. Boom. Now we'll send the scouts over to the observatory. Yep. Wait, is that finished already? No, it's under construction. That'll take up one steam core. But it'll be worth it. Yep, ready to search. Go search. They're going to start building this wall drill. People are getting sick. Ten sick people, seven sick, sick people, okay. They're getting cured as they're getting sick. Could actually put the children in here. Yep, start putting putting children out there. There's no one gathering coal? What? Oh wait. No, not that. There are people here. Okay. We can put people on the wall drill now. As it's getting warmer. Yes, okay. Things are warming up. Just a little bit, though. It's still negative 30. But things are getting better. Our discontent went down a lot. <clears throat> the temperature's gonna drop again, though. It'll drop another one level. We'll still have to keep the core on. Or the generator. We're gonna have a nice income of wood. Oh, our exploration team has reached the observatory. Something's amiss at the observatory. Snow covers the precious instruments, and the dome is open, letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside. Survivors? Oh, it's just survivors? Explore. Uh. The sun is dimming. Instead of astronomers, we met. We are met by some of our lost people. They explain that they that they came here for help, but found everybody dead. The astronomers continued their obs observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling 
of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Uh-oh. Well, we can't just leave them. We need all the people we can get. Do we want to escort them? If we escort them, we won't lose anyone. If we send the survivors to the city, we could lose some. But we could also stay out. We're just going to send them to the city. Hope for the best. Send these people to the crash site. So our people will stay out longer. We don't have to make multiple trips. What are we researching? Hunter's gear. Probably want some mines. Actually, we don't need mines right now. Yay, Hunter's gear. We'll research. What do we research now? Faster gathering. Another sc more scouts. More scouts could be good. That allows us to have two scouting parties, and we're going to be getting more people into the city. Now let's get more scouts. Oh. Child injured at work. Give this kid the day off. Yeah. Wood depleted. Ah, okay. Gathering post is done. That's basically useless now. Essentially. There's like no reason to have it anymore. Dismantle it. We have no more use for you. Hunters are going out. How's our party doing? Uh, the survivors are coming closer. Our party's almost at the crash site. Oh, they reached the crash site. That's where our expedition was split up when our vehicles crashed during a snowstorm. Some of our precious supplies should be here. Raw food and wood. 75 raw food and 145 wood. We'll take all that. And now you guys just go to the Lost Expedition. We'll get more people. I'm not sure if we're going to lose anyone. I think it was 4-19-11 when they left. Let's see if we lose anyone from that. We're getting more sick. Oh, no. I think that person just went to the, into treatment. Oh, we got more people. We have, I think that said 34 homeless. What was it, 19, 11, 4? I can't math, so I can't count that. But hey, we have 34 new people. Survivors have reached the city, which means we're going to have more mouths to feed. Uh, how many people do we have? 114 in total. Hunter's Hut produces 20. Double that for the amount of rations we'd have. That's 40. Uh, so having three of these would produce 160. No, 120. What am I thinking? 160. Uh, it, through having three of these would produce 120 food rations a day. Which would be enough to feed all the people. So we can get another Hunter's Hut. Put it next to the others. Uh... We're going to need more homes. We're going to need four more. We'll actually need... Uh... To research... The heating thing. A protective mother. A mother has refused to let her daughter go to work. Afraid she'll get injured. We could look the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. Let her have a day off. Raise that hope up. Put 
with the children there. <clears throat> Put children there. Get that research done, people. More scouts, nice. Because now I want to research uh, steam hubs. Which will be good places for us to uh, put down some houses nearby it. Because we're going to need more room for more houses for these new people. How are you going hungry? Eat a ration. We have plenty of them. Put people in there. We might need another um, workshop. For faster research. Let's do it. Our sick are getting cured, that's nice. Put those people in there. There we go. Get that research done. Now we want to actually do uh, coal mining. Because eventually that coal will run out. Actually, where do we want steelworks? Let's do coal mining for now. Then we'll do steelworks. We don't need to do anything for that for now. This is the best. I feel like this is the best that I've done. Like ever in this game. Put this down, uh... Build another direction. Let's build out, uh... This way. We also build a coal mine out here. It's time off! Everyone get to building! Ah! These guys have reached the Lost Expedition. Survivors. Just... Just send them here. And then go off to the... The cave has people. I know the cave. I've, I've been to the cave a few times. The cave has survivors in it. I'm not going to go there. Let's go to the shelter. I think that has resources there. We'll just, no roof over our heads. I'll provide shelter for everyone. We have two days to do it. That's fine. I was just about to do that anyway. In fact, we'll do it now. Tents. Actually. Tech. Steam hub. Build this. Here. If only I could see where the steam hub extends to. I think I build this here, 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 here. We'll do a... Uh, one, two, three, four. There you go, my people. I have provided for you. We're also going to build more houses as well. I 
Like, those are covered, right? Yeah. We're gonna need more housing for the new people to come in. But we'll wait for that. This is going surprisingly really well. We still have a bunch of people that can work. Let's build another workshop. We're building another workshop. Should we? Yes. <laughs> Scouts have reached the shelter. Steam cores. Yes, we need those wood and food rations. How much do we get? Take the resources. One steam core. 213 wood. 101 rations. Yes, take all that. Then we'll just return home. Or should we go to Steelbridge? No, let's return home. I want that core. And I know I, I researched to have another scout party, but we don't really... Should we do that? Five people. We have that. Let's do it. We'll send them to Steelbridge. Search for others. Our people found a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. We must find other people and ask them to help to secure our survival. Ah, we're fine. And also, we got more people homeless. Did we just have people arrive? I think we did. The other people. Double rations for kids. Child labor. In the wake of recent child workers accident, the parents argue that we could give working children double rations to make them stronger and help prevent injuries. Nothing will change. No, can't afford it. Sorry, children. We had to go hungry. Build some more homes like that. Ah, oh, we got coal mining. Perfect. Now we're actually going to wait to research on anything. Because we need this wood to actually make the coal mine. We need to get the... Well, I mean, we could wait, actually. What should we research next? Uh, we need to wait for the core to get here. Seventy-five wood, twenty. Ooh. Steelworks. We will need steel. Yeah. We're gonna need another hunter's hut too. Four eighty hundred twenty. Next we do hundred sixty. Yeah. Food, hunter's hut. Could build another one back here. Or something. Have an outer ring of hunter's huts. <laughs> uh, where would I want this to go?
built it right there. Why can't I build it? Scouts have returned safely. Yes, give me all that. And we were full on wood, which probably wasn't a good thing, but it's fine. It's fine. We now have the resources to build a coal mine, another wall drill, but no, we'll do a coal mine. Builds this one here. Build a path to it. Perfect. Now we'll have a nice operating coal mine to go along with these coal piles. And actually, I'm going to wait to build another hunter's hut until we need it. We're getting plenty of food. I need to sit out this party. And I'll just go to the cave. We'll get more people to join. More mouths to feed. Is that done? Yes, it is. Uh, okay. Workers, get in there. Let's start producing coal. I should actually make some resource depots. Over here. Put one over there for wood. Then we'll build one over here. Oh, wait. We can't. Oh, we're out of steel. Oh, wait. No. That's... Scratch that. Nope. We need that for a steel... Uh... Actually, no. That doesn't cost... Yeah, it doesn't cost steel to make. Okay. Then we will do that, actually. Am I building the right thing? Resource depot. Alright, we got steelworks. What to research now? It costs steel to go to the next thing, so we're not going to do that. Uh, medical post upgrade. Nope, steel. Bunkhouse needs steel. A lot of this stuff down here needs steel. <coughs> Could go faster gathering, but we don't really need that right now. I guess just heaters. Sure. Research heaters. You will be wood. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. I don't know how the hunter's huts are still warm. Still livable. Nobody ever stays in them. The hunters go, like, into the city circle during the day, and then they hunt at night. So there's never anyone in the buildings. Oh, we got heaters. We can't do any of those. Ugh. I guess just faster gathering. Do it. Our scout parties are almost at their destinations. Coal depleted, coal depleted. Gathering post is done. We don't really need that anymore, so just get rid of it. That'll give us some steel. Oh, Scouts made it to Winter Home. Automaton? Oh, right, a brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, Built by the people of Winter Home in AD 1887, the bridge is kept completely snow-free by a working automaton. A functional automaton! We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge spanning it, even more so at the huge automaton sweeping snow from the roadway. It will be possible to send the machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. What do we do? Send it to the city or dismantle it? If we dismantle it, we get two cores and 92 steel. If we just send it to the city, we get an automaton. Which I haven't, I haven't seen an automaton yet. 
I've only seen like a video of a review of the game with an automaton, but it was it just like flashed so fast that I didn't really get the chance to process what I was seeing. It's like one of those giant walkers that you'd see in, you know, like steampunk movies and whatnot, and video games. I don't know what, what automatons can really do. I, I think it was explained before, but I just don't remember what they do. They're like regular workers, essentially, but they don't need food or heat or anything. If we dismantle it, we get two cores and 92 metal. But if we send it to the city, we could get essentially a workhorse that doesn't need pretty much anything. An automaton could save us, but we're doing so well right now that we could dismantle it and use the two cores to build to build up our infrastructure. So that we don't run out of resources. Oh. I kind of want to see what the automaton does. But I think we can actually build our own at some point. And firming up our infrastructure would be good. Then again, if we dismantle it, we would have to... Go back home with all the resources but then again we do have another party out but they're going to be just sent to the city i want to see the automaton at work automaton sent to the city we re we reprogram the automaton and send it to and send it on its way as it disappeared to the distance walking steadily towards our city the first wisps of snow started to settle on the bridge large convoy weather station <coughs> Uh, several vehicles and tents. We can see people moving between them and smoke rising from the campfire. Weather station. A tall building, particular devices on the roof. Most likely a weather station set up by scientists from Winter Home. So both of these could have people. This one does definitely has people on it. At it since, you know, we can see them. The weather station may or may not, so let's go there first. What's this? Deserted bridge. Finding the bridge to Winterhome proved that we were on the right track, but raised questions. Why was the bridge deserted? Why wasn't the automaton under the care of an engineer? There are logical explanations to it all, but people are growing anxious. We'll find out in Winterhome. Hope falls slightly. Blech. Don't worry, people. We have everything set up all nice and tight. Oh, we have the steelworks, too. We can set that up over there. Where would a nice path go? Steelworks. There? Ew, I don't like that. Ew, why does the game do this? Why couldn't it be straight? Wait, is this off even? Uh, hold on. Stop it. No, don't do that path. Do that path. Scouts have reached the gloomy cave. Survivors. Beset by beasts, we can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Leave the bears alone. The bears will kill the survivors, risk attacking the bears. People in the cave will live. Scouts will escort them to the city if they survive. Let's do that. We had to help the survivors. When our scouts attack the bears, the people in the cave, uh, four children, 18 engineers, 12 workers, join them 
and together they drove the bees away. Unfortunately, the scouts died from their injuries. The people they saved set out towards the city, guided by a map made by the scouts. Rest in peace, scouts. Rest in peace. But they managed to do it. We can make another scout party. And send them... We won't actually send them anywhere. <laughs> we'll leave them here for now. Get that built up. We'll get some steel going. People are getting sick from staying out. Alright. <clears throat> Fill that with some people. We're going to be getting more people soon. I'm so glad I built two medical posts. Everyone's just going to the medical posts. People are getting treated, sent out, new people are coming in. All oh, the temperature fell again. That's not good. So you know what that means? Hold on. It means I'm going to turn that on, turn that on. And yeah, turn that on. Turn the heater on in those places. Make sure those stay warm. Scouts have reached the weather station. Coal and steam cores. Perfect. 91 coal, 1 steam core. We'll take it. Alright, you go to that coal mine. You... Winter home. There could be no doubt it is a city much like ours. We can see the top of the generator, but switched off perhaps for maintenance. I don't think so, but we'll go. I think anyone's dead there. The recent report from the weather station has got people talking. Hold on. Yeah, they got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. Some are starting to wonder whether the evacuation from London was a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, no, not tents and wooden shacks. Well, guess what? Shut up. Hey, we got faster gathering. We can actually uh, research some of this stuff too now. Generator range upgrade would be nice. Charcoal kiln allows us to build charcoal kilns. Uses intense heat to char up to 70 wood per standard day, producing 210 coal. Well, we have coal mining right now, so we don't really need that. So here's just the hot houses. 30 raw food per day actually produces 60 food per day which would be 20 more than the average hunter's hut actually medical post upgrade 10% faster sick healing yeah I'll do that Two sick people, two sick people, one sick person. We could actually send some people from here into here. Get some of that uh, steel in. 
Maybe we can start putting people into the wall drill. Oh, wait, we don't have anyone in here in the workshop. I forgot to put people in there. Oops. <laughs> oh, the cookhouse isn't working because it's too cold. Sure, we'll turn the heater on in there as well. Gotta remember to turn off the heater when there's no one in there. Cool. Now we'll actually build some uh, resource depots. We'll build one here for... Um, well... We'll build, we'll build it over here next to this one. For coal. Because we, we definitely want to stockpile coal. We have 14 homeless. I guess it's time to build more homes. There. Uh, why are there so many sick people? Stop getting sick, please. Why are you hungry? What is happening? <laughs> please warm up. Probably getting sick because there was no housing for them. Yeah, we got more people. Send them in there. Let's research, uh... I guess the resource depot. Upgrades. What's this? <gasps> the automaton! Look at that thing! Look at it go! It's hauling ass! <laughs> Automatons. Alright, I've never read this before. Initially, you could store up to 900 coal and 300... Uh, oh, this is the storage limit. When the limit is reached, the gathering or extraction of a given type of resource will stop. To raise this limit, build a resource depot is it to store the desired resource? Each resource depot can store 900 coal or 300 of any other resource. Automatons. The automatons can replace entire crews at most workplaces. They are produced in the factory and work 24 hours per day. 24 hours a day? Their initial efficiency is 60%, but if you raised by researched upgrades, an automaton recharges itself twice daily from the generator or steam hub without interfering with its operation. Wow. So we can just say, automaton, work here for everyone else. Our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatons can replace entire manual labor crews. They work around the clock with short breaks to refuel at the generator. We can research upgrades to raise their efficiency and ca uh, capacity. So we can just say automaton, work there, and it will work there. That's incredible. Automaton, work at the steelworks, work at the coal mine. I, I might actually say work at the coal mine. Work at the coal mine. Let's see it go, where is it? There's Mr. Automaton. Look at that sucker go, it's making holes in the snow. I guess we could uh, wait for the second upgrade. Now we can do it. Uh, drafting machines. Yes. We're out of steel, that's fine, we're just gonna produce more. 
Oh, it's so cool. We're actually getting like a we're we're getting our uh frost punk on. Our steampunk frost punk. This is the furthest I've ever made it. Well, I mean, you saw my last save, day 11. That's like the furthest I made it, but I was losing there. Oh, these guys made it to where they're going. They made it to winter home. Steam cores. <laughs> We're on our own. Two steam cores. The streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The City Chronicle describes the shortage of food and citizens' increasing despair. The following squabbles, riots, and... D uh, and descent into anarchy. What? Fights for dwindling resources and the eventual starvation. The last entry. God forgive us. We're eating our dead. There's no hope. We are on our own. We are alone. The news has shocked everyone in the city. We were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here. There were supposed to be. People living normally, normal lives in homes heated by generators. But we're alone. Hope falls. People are rioting because of that. Oh, is this the Londoners I've heard about? The Londoners have been here before. Come here is a fool's errand. We should go back. Terrible, all these poor people. We can't end up like them. We should never have left Britain. We must save ourselves and our children. We must go back. Back to London. Winter must fall, I must give them purpose. Choose our path. People are shaken, racked by fear and doubt. They've lost hope in our chances of survival. Desperation could quickly push them to commit reckless acts. You have to unite them behind a vision of the future. Decide now what will give them purpose and restore hope, or else our city will descend into the chaos that consumed Winter Home. A new set of laws will become available through faith or through order. We're doing order. Neighborhood watch. Sign. We must build two watchtowers. We will do that. Look at that thing go. We'll just build two watchtowers. Takes five steel, though. Uh... We could build one there. There's like a way to rotate buildings, but I don't know how to do it. Generally, I think you'd want them, yeah, near homes. Anything that lights up with white, it like affects. So it won't affect any of that. It'll affect just homes, basically. Build one there. Outpost. Building an outpost depot allows you to assign people to work as an outpost team. Send an outpost team to establish an outpost in Frostland at a location rich in resources. The outpost will send these resources to the city once per day until you you order them order the team to return to the city. Discontent has already fallen. Well, I, I don't think we can actually build that yet. I think we need to uh, upgrade. We need to research the technology to build outposts. Outpost depot, yeah. We're researching that right now. You guys shut up. Get out of here. I don't need your discontent right now. Look at this thing. Look at it. It's working the coal mine now. That's so cool. The unconvinced want to leave. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. A group of people uh, are still so scared that they want to flee the city for London in 15 days. They've come to try to change your mind. You say order will save us? Nonsense. 
What are we going to orderly decide who to eat first when we start to starve? If we don't try to reach London, we'll end up like Winterhome. And what exactly will that change? Huh? We left London for a reason. You want to go back there? We, we already... We already have a nice supply of food coming in. You think we're going to run out? Your people are divided. Some of them are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. They'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Fear may lead other people to desperate acts. Maintain peace, give people hope, and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming social crisis. 13 Londoners. You think 13 people are just going to up and leave? Please. Anyway, what are these people doing? Winter home. Oh yeah, I never told them to go anywhere else because it like stopped me. Snow cliff. There's a hole in it. And it's inhabited. It's inhabited. We can see a lone figure bustling about. <coughs> huh. Let's go see what's up. Oh, what's that? American camp? Oh! <gasps> The Americans are here. Got some workers in there. Well, that's on, but it's still cold. Ooh. Man, the poor people that gotta work in there. Maybe I should actually put people in there and have the automaton working in the steel works. Yeah, let's do that. Turn the tom on here. Turn that off. Get people in there. That'd probably be better. Lunders gain more followers. Well, don't. I'm guessing they just want me to immediately build another watchtower. Actually, let's build a, uh... I need 20 steel. Get me steel, automaton. What's this? Oh, we need to raise hope. Scouts have reached the snow cliff. Steam cores, wood, and food rations. The man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found. Searching his burrow, we found a diary of a scientist who fled Winterholm. After he, after the starving city fell into chaos, its leader, an army captain, appointed himself an absolute ruler. He tried to impose order by using using force. Plenty of people, disgruntled, deserted the city, and most of the others rebelled against him. Oh, that's what we're trying to do. Take the resources. Freshwater springs. We can see distant glimmers of sun reflecting on the surface of water. Unfrozen water here points to the presence of freshwater springs. Shrouded cave. We can see a faint wisp of smoke coming from a patch deep of deep sh of deep shadow at the base of a small hill. It must be the entrance of a cave, an inhabited cave. What's this? Oh, winter home. Right. They're going to the coal mine. That might actually be where we said of our uh our first outpost. Or maybe Winter Home. Actually, we might do it at Winter Home. I think that gives us steam cores. I think. And the coal mine gives us coal. Let's go to the freshwater springs. Get going. Time to earn your 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. We're out of steel, that's fine. I'm gonna build that there, and I'm gonna build another watchtower like over here. Order, watchtower. Okay, it's the same size as a home. Actually, I could just start, I could build a couple homes here. Just make sure I get it right. Drafting machine, okay. Now we could do better technology. Oh, now that I actually know what I'm doing, I'm sorry you guys didn't get to see me flounder around and just flop around on the ground my, during my first time playing this. My first few times playing this, but this is like my fourth attempt, third or fourth attempt at playing this. Steam Hub range upgrade for the Steam Hubs. Oh. Improved heaters. That could be useful, actually. Outpost Depot. <laughs> Which is actually what we want. Large resource depot. Gathering post insulation. Gathering posts will be warmer. Plus one heat level. Well, we don't need that anymore. So. Coal mining optimization. Oh. Interesting. Flying hunters? What? Infirmary. We don't need that right now. I want to get this, uh... Oh, lighter scout sleds. Scouts move 50% faster. Well, we can research that while we wait for Outpost Depot. Londoners are a group of people that are... Uh, who are frightened by the situation that they want to go back to London in a misguided belief that it's the only way to survive. People will join the Londoners when the hope level is low and leave them when it's high. The Londoners will challenge your rule, provoking conflicts and arguing others to leave the city. The intensity of the conflict depends on the general condition of the society. So we just need to increase hope. That's basically the gist of it. Oh, those scouts are about to reach their destination. <coughs> Hope rises. Yes, leave the Londoner Londoners. Do it. Timely intervention. Sir, a child climbed the generator, slipped and fell, but was thankfully caught by a neighborhood watch member who was on patrol nearby. He then escorted the child to his mother and gave them both a good talking to. It could have ended with a broken leg or worse if it weren't for our watchman, a neighborhood commented. A neighbor, a neighbor commented, we're lucky to have them. I'm glad it ended well. See, it's good we started setting up these watchtowers. Anyway, the coal mine. Coal. Oh, more coal than we can use. This coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps the mine simply extracted its quota or filled the load the loading bay. We could retrieve plenty of raw materials if we took the machinery apart. Only take the coal, dismantle the machines for resources. We'll get plenty of resources, we won't be able to restart the mine anymore. Which would be bad if we wanted to set up a a a uh, outpost for it. Or we can just take the coal. Just take the coal. And you guys actually go to the American camp. <coughs> Alright. And the storage limits reach for food. 
We literally cannot make more food. We have 175 people and we can't get rid of all of our food. <laughs> We're making a utopia out of this dystopia. Can you believe it? We have 34 engineers. We need more places for these engineers to work. I guess we're getting a lot of sick. Could make some more infirm or more medical posts or something. Or we could work towards that infirmary. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do uh, the infirmary. We also want healthcare insulation. None of steel. Oh, come on, steel. And we also need another... We would need another uh, st steam core for it. Freshwater springs. Okay. Survivors. <clears throat> Seven children, 22 workers. That's a, that's a long way. Let's just escort them. Plus, I think... Do they have any cores with them? Can I see what resources they have on them? Yes, uh, they have four cores. Okay, yeah. Four cores would be great. Let's research the, uh... But we can't because we need the core. But, wait. We have zero, but it says we can start it? I guess... Alright, sure. I right, wait, no, that's just to build it. I'm an idiot. That's just to build it if we wanted to make a infirmary. We need things that'll raise hope. Thirteen days left. There's plenty of time. Now cure those sick people, please. Blunders gain more followers. Stop it with the hope. Purpose. Find ways to fight discontent and restore hope. Adaption. Find ways to battle hunger, sickness, and apathy. Yes. Let's restore hope. Guard stations. Morning gatherings. Hope will rise slightly. Morning gatherings will slightly raise hope from time to time. That could actually be good. Yeah, do that. Look at that. Increase that hope more. We could use a reminder of what we're fighting for every day. I think it's a waste of time, but it helps. But if it helps morale, there you go. We're getting more and more sick people, though. Get to work, people. We're getting so many sick. Okay, we got the infirmary. Can't build it, but... And then we want healthcare insulation. Medical posts, infirmaries, houses of healing, and care houses will be warmer. Yes. We definitely want that. It'll help us use some of these, uh, engineers that we have. Also, wait, why don't we have the children working? I thought the children could work in these mines. I guess that's too dangerous, actually. Have the automaton work in the food. <laughs> that's probably the worst waste of the automaton. Oh, that party's almost here. Let's build a little bit. Let's build some more housing. Wait. Why was that weird? 
It like t it like takes up the entire thing. That's weird. But all right. That is weird. There's some four cores. Perfect. Let's get this infirmary built. Look at this big thing. Holy crap. Holy moly. Maybe build it there. No. Maybe build it up here. It'll be in the heat of the hub. Which would be good. Yeah, we'll do that. Put a bunch of engineers in there. This content really, really went down. Purpose. Can we, like... Let's go back to the book of law, the regular book of laws. Oh, here it is. Uh. Radical treatment or sustaining life? We don't want to make our hope fall right now. Both of these will raise hope. Gravely ill will be treated in the medical posts. Gravely ill will be kept alive, but untreated in medical posts. Which is just take up room. I'd say radical treatment. Discontent will rise. Gravely ill will not be treated and will remain a burden. The gravely ill will take up bed space. So not only will they take up space, but they'll remain untreated and a burden. With radical treatment, about 30 of the gravely ill will be treated in medical facilities and left as amputees. Discontent will rise slightly. I want to raise hope. What if we go back to purpose? Guard stations. Foreman. Increase the efficiency of the workplace by 40% for 24 hours. Guard station. Guard station will raise the hope of the people living nearby. Guard stations lower the discontent of people living nearby. You can use guards to break up protests. Have to build two guard stations. Discontent will rise slightly. We'll do guard stations. Wait, what are the people saying? I agree, we need law enforcement. Every city in the world has it. Well, if you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to fear. Right. Guard station. We have watchtowers, now we need guard stations. Holy crap. <laughs> I guess build them on either side again. Maybe further back, I guess. I don't know. I need to build two of them. I guess right there and right there. Just cause.
We know area effects. It's just te teaching us this now. Workers. Workers. Hope rises. There we go. Discontent falls. <clears throat> also, how's this place doing? Oh yeah, that's really comfortable. This place is looking really good. I want to live here. Our resources are looking good. Heck, we can go for more coal. People regain hope. For the first time, the Londoners have failed to persuade anyone to abandon our city to fl and flee to London. People are recovering from their shock and the news of winter home and starting to hope for the future. There you go. People are hopeful enough not to join the Londoners. And they're waiting. Uh, They're going to the American camp. Go to the large convoy. Uh, you guys don't need this on, and this on, and this on. You don't need that on. Oh, we got health card installation. Nice. Uh, what do we do now? Hunting tactics. Hunter's Hus will employ fewer people. Oh. But the outpost depot. That's what we want. <clears throat> oh, we already researched it. Well, how about that? Factory. Plant where automatons and other highly advanced devices can be produced. We don't really need that right now. I'll probably wait for that. Scouts have reached the American camp. Steam cores and steel. The American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Searching the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Most of them have badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol. Tesla Manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. One core and 58 steel. Take it. And then go to the temporary settlement. I want to build the, uh, the outpost depot. We need 45 steel. So I'll wait for that. We could make another wall drill. Oh, we don't need another wall drill. We could make another steel works, but we'll wait for that. This is going really well. It's gonna start getting cold again. And hey, we have no more uh, just sick laying around. We have people actually being treated now. But it's when it gets cold. I'm gonna have to turn these heaters back on. If 
Probably for there as well. It's gonna get really cold. What do you have to say? Trouble with the Londoners, writing on the wall. Captain, someone has defaced the walls with predictions of doom for our city. This is troubling. People already fear we'll share Winterholm's fate. And scared minds are swayed by even the smallest nudge. Send watchmen to remove it. Ignore it. Hope will fall slightly. Hope will fall. Send watchmen to remove it. It'll just fall slightly, but that's fine. Scouts have reached a temporary settlement. Steam cores and wood. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder on its roughly placed face. Someone chiseled the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed humanity, human lives in the name of progress, for we can't exiles of Tesla City. We won't touch the monument, but we decide to dismantle the huts for wood. One core, 213 wood. Alright. A uh, walled colony, sizable settlement surrounded by a low wall made of stone, ice, and snow. Oh, no movement, no smoke. Dreadnought landing. Along the shore of the frozen bay, we can see the outlines of an enormous ship. A wide lane of broken ice leads to it from the west. Let's go. Dreadnought sounds nice. Let's go. Let's go check out this colony. We need to raise hope. It just gives me so much hope. Look at all the lights. Like, we can see you. Let's build some, I guess, some more tents. Build another tent here. Nah, let's wait. <clears throat> and the lenders gain more followers. No. Stop. Don't do that. You know, we could probably afford to lose... Eh, 33 people. I'm, I don't actually like the sound of that. We gotta raise hope more. Temperature falls, there it is. Let's actually research... Uh, I actually have a new thing we can research. Uh, Generated power upgrade. Yeah. And actually, we have. Okay, we have 45. We can. We can make the outpost depot now. There's only two places we could put them, so I guess there's only two places we can get resources from. We have. We can get infinite coal, infinite wood. The, the coal. And the cores are what we'll need. We could easily get more food. More steel. Steel's slow, but it's infinite. Wood is... We're getting at a pretty decent rate. I guess since we already have a... Uh, road over here, I guess I'll just put this here. Build the road. From here, over to here. This guy's reached a large convoy. Survivors! Uh, escort the survivors. The other team will reach their destination soon. Heat upgrade, nice. <clears throat> it's already doing it. That's fine. Oh, look at that. Comfortable living conditions. Perfect, alright. Scott's reached the exile colony. You guys research, uh... Coal mining optimization? Yeah, let's wait for a, let's wait a second for that. What do you guys have? Uh, survivors of the exile colony. 
Some of the exiles are still alive, just barely. We could try to bring them to our city, although they might die on the way. One of the dying held a diary to, the, to his chest. We read the last entry, exiled from Tesla City. With food and fuel running out, we sent the strongest among us to search for help. They're our last hope. We're afraid this refers to these poor Yankees we buried. Escort them to the city. Rob the exiles of their supplies. Scouts will rob the dying exiles and leave them to die. We could use more people. <coughs> Let's, ex let's escort them back. We pulled the dying exiles from the snow and the houses and prepared them for the journey to our city. Some of them stirred from their death-like slumber to bless their absent friends for bringing help. We couldn't tell them the truth, not yet. We're gonna need more room. Book of Law. Purpose, perhaps? What else is there? Patrol. Guard station. Each use will reduce discontent. Each use will raise hope slightly. Prison. Prisoners will abandon their misguided views. Propaganda center. Ooh. Raises hope. Shows detailed information on the sources of discontent. Uh, propaganda Center will distribute bulletins, raising hope. You will have to build Propaganda Center. Discontent will rise. That's fine. We have plenty of room for discontent. Do it. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Oh, we need more steel. That's fine. We'll wait. I'll have to build more tents, though. We're going to get a lot more people in. There, 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 there. Probably need more food. We need to research better food. We need... I guess we could do flying uh, hunters. Hunting tactics. <coughs> we could go in, all in on hunters. Generator efficiency upgrade. Ten percent less coal. Yes. Ten citizens. Ugh. Now they didn't increase in size like the others did. That's not right. That's directly on the line, I think, isn't it? 
that part isn't. This part is. Let's try that. Let's get rid of this. And do this. It's so weird. Get rid of it. Build a new one. There we go. I've got to, like, build the roads out first and then construct those. Hey, sweet. More people. Another act of vandalism. Send Watchmen to remove it. Dang it, our hope rises and then it goes back down. I want to build this propaganda center now. You guys go out to... The Shrouded Cave. Watchman member beaten. Captain mem members of the neighborhood watch who were removing the Lunder's slogans have been assaulted. We should do something to protect our people. Send guards to secure the streets. Hope will rise. Discontent will fall. Order guards to strike back. Didn't want to escalate this. I don't want to escalate this. Hope will fall. Raise hope. Send guards to secure the streets. Good. We might need some law and order at least. Lunders gain more followers. Stop it. Thanks for getting more people. But stop it. Get some help. We're losing food fast now. There we go. Propaganda Center. There can only be one of these. Whoa. <laughs> This thing is huge. Build it there. Nice. That's a lot of stuff. I right, go check out the uh, Dreadnought Landing. That was a lot of resources. Not that. This. Create an outpost team. Go to Winter Home. Oh, this just gives you wood? Coal. Well, I guess just go for the coal. I thought Winter Home gave you cores. I guess not. Well, I guess we'll just go to the coal mine for now. Now we find the coal plate, or the. a place that gives us. Cores will do that. I think it is Winter Home, actually. It just gives you wood and sometimes cores. I don't know. Alright, 10 engineers. Program Center can now keep track of people's attitudes and influence them. Hope rises. Whoa! Screw you, Londoners. This sign will strike fear into the hearts of villains. Order dawns on our city. This sign will remind everyone that we are a city of order. That's it. No mercy for our enemies. Yeah! Glory to Orstolska. Intel. Potential protest issues. The most burning issue which can push our uh, people are calm. Okay. This is the needs are fulfilled. Nice. I said we could also build like stuff like... No, I guess not. Oh, wait, yeah, uh, propaganda bulletin. News bulletin delivered to every household will reassure people that we're protecting the city by maintaining order. Hope will rise. 
<clears throat> cost 10 wood, sure. Let's do it. Look at that. Mmm. You Londoners better watch out. We will need to get more food, though. Efficiency upgrade, nice. Let's do, uh... <coughs> Coal mining optimization. Food. Hunter's hut. Build another hunter's hut. Oh, we have some homeless. That's not good. No homeless in my city. Let's get another road going over here. Steam hub, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. More housing. I think we're gonna need some uh, order. Watchtower. How do I have these placed? To the right, to the right, to the right. Right here. Still another walkway from here out. We'll do a guard station right there. What's this? People support the guards. Sir, people are no longer concerned by the Lunder slogans. Some have started to bring hot soup to the guards patrolling the streets. We just couldn't bear watching them walking the streets in this cold. The slogans? The deranged scrawl of cowards. Nothing more. I'm glad to hear that. But our food is running low. I need to up our food gain immediately. More hunter's huts. We have, oh wait, okay, let's see. We have 300, 310, we'll say. Well, we'll say 320. Four, eight, 12, 16, 200, 240. Let's, let's start building back here. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, two hundred. Two forty. Two eighty. Three twenty. That is a lot of, uh, That is a lot of hunter's huts. Hey, Tire Danny, what's up? Welcome, I never see you in here. Wow, hey. The first Londoners convinced to stay. Sir, several of the people who wanted to flee to London have decided to trust you and stay. They say that your recent decisions convinced them that there is hope for us yet. I'm glad to hear that. Sorry, Londoners, you're staying. 
This is like my fourth time attempting this. The first three times I tried playing this game failed. And then I started up the stream and I started this colony and it just went perfectly. A lot of friends aren't on the weekends, yeah. You guys are Oh, uh build now post. Does the win does Winter Home give you uh steam cores as well? As wood? I know that there's a place, I heard there's a place that also gives you steam cores, and I want to do that as well as coin. Oh, we're going to need more people for all this. I also need to build another cookhouse if we're going to cook all this food. Okay, what do we research now? Uh, hunting tactics. Actually, yeah, that'll be good for us because we need more people to man these places. Throw the children in there. The children will cook. Trust me. How's our heating looking? Pretty good so far. Oh, this is... Oh, it's just chilly. Okay, I thought that was cold. That's good. Max that out. Max that out. So many hunters. <laughs> you might be asking why I'm not researching more food. because I have better things to research than food. <clears throat> All you know is that I shouldn't go to Tesla. Well, we're going to a bunch of other places. We've reached some places that are like... Tesla, Tesla uh, is bad. There were some people we found that were dead. And they have Tesla on their on their arms, on their uh, on their stumpy fake arms, their artificial arms. Maybe we should actually put start putting engineers in these guard stations. Oh wait, I could do another law. Let's get some hope up. Uh, purpose. What else can we do? What is that? That looks cool. I want that. That is something that I want. And also, I've been enjoying this game so much that I forgot to end my stream. <laughs> I was supposed to end 22 minutes ago. We'll go for another uh, few minutes. Pledge of Loyalty. Discontent will rise. Discontent means nothing so far, alright? We started the game with 24 hour work time, and just discontent just like went away immediately. Discontent means nothing. So a little discontent will ri rising doesn't matter. Pledge of Loyalty. Let's we'll turn them into secret informers. What? This will provide a permanent hope bonus. Yes. <clears throat> Wrongdoers can now redeem themselves by agreeing to cooperate. Nice. Also, can we do uh We can't do another propaganda bulletin. That's fine. Londoners, you are going down. Come on, finish the research. Yes. Perfect, okay. Now we actually have more people. Cool. We have all that filled. We have these filled. We're gonna get a lot of food tonight. Enough to feed everyone. Scouts have reached the Dreadnought. Steam cores, wood, and steel. We found a piece of whole plate bolted to a boulder. It's engraved with the following inscription. In the year 1886, the American expedition aboard Hephaestus landed here in search of a haven from the global gl glaciation. May God preserve the souls of our fellow countrymen who have perished on the way aboard our sister ship, Prometheus. We found Tesla City. Okay, you just told me not to go to Tesla City. 
Maybe I shouldn't go to Tesla City. <laughs> I'll take those resources. Hey, look, Tesla City. But according to you, I shouldn't go there, so I'll go back. Because of you, I will stay away from Tesla City. Willing informers, some workers want to see you. They've dragged an engineer with them, accusing him of disloyalty. He was reading us this, trying to turn us against you. One of the workers shoves a tattered book in your hands. Fools, uh, snarls the engineer. It's Dickens. I've been trying to educate them. Keep up the good work. You will gain three informers. The engineers will get hurt. Hope will fall. This man's innocent. Discontent will rise. This man's innocent. I don't care about discontent. I think I care about discontent. Ugh. More tents. Uh, tent there and there. One there and one there. We'll need some roads to those. Actually, no, don't build those yet. My city's looking good. I never imagined I'd actually make it this far. I thought I was going to fail again today, but things are looking really good. Let's see how much food we get. Oh, wait, we're going to have to increase our raw food supplies. Oh, I should do that. Like, try to get it before they come back. Uh, resource Depot. Build this over here, too, I guess. Just build it like I don't know. There. We have two other resource depots here, anyway. Come on, before the food comes. Uh, raw food. Yeah, raw food. Then we'll make another one for steel rations. Can I build that there? No. Build it there. We'll build a road to it. Oh wait, they're they're waiting. Uh, children's hideout. This cave is a hideout for some children who were evacuated from winter home. There are no adult supervisors here. We should talk to the kids and take them to the city. We talked to the children in the hideout. They said that one night their teachers and some hunters took them out when, uh, from winter home on a secret adventure. Teachers told them they're going to stay here for a while. When the food ran low, their guardians went back to get more and didn't return. It seems these kids were evacuated in time before things in the city got really ugly. Let's es let's escort the children back. We will bring these young young workers back home so that they may work for us. Even though we don't have, we're not really child labor intensive. We just have children working in our uh, our cook houses, and that's it. Okay, we put uh, raw food in there. Put food rations in there. Cool. We'll send you guys back out. I guess not to Tesla City. Go to Frozen Grove. And we'll put out another propaganda bulletin. Look at that hope rise. And I'll have you know that this is normal diff this is like the normal difficulty, I think. I definitely didn't put it to easy. This is like the normal difficulty. It's gonna get colder again. 
Why? We need new research. Uh, we need better heating. We need, like... The range upgrade. Or improved heaters. Let's get a range upgrade. Yeah. How are you hungry? Go eat. We have plenty of food. We should research better food production instead of these hunters' huts. Eh. We have very little sick. We don't have anyone going hungry. We're doing so good. Purpose. I want to see... What is it? I, think, I guess we need both of these for a new order. Actually, I can just sign new order now. With the introduction of the new order, all who voice doubts will be treated as traitors. Obedience is the highest virtue without which this city cannot survive. All those who do not follow will be swept aside. After reducing the law, no, nah. hope will never be a problem again. Londoners will have to renounce their views. A public execution space will be built. Some Londoners will be killed. Some people will feel compelled to fight this law. Some of them will die. Agitator. <clears throat> Three agitators. Huh. Patrol prison. Should we go for a new... I did say in the beginning that I wanted to make like a, a dystopian totalitarian place. But hope will never be a problem again. How many people do we have? Could we lose some? As long as it's not 12 workers. I mean, we could replace some of them with engineers, probably. The children won't fight us. If they do, they'll find themselves losing pretty quickly. <laughs> let, let, let's do it. New world order, baby. Here we go. There will be blood. Sir, people are rioting in the streets and demanding that you stop this law. They say that order is about people working together to survive, not one man using people's lives as resources, seizing more power for himself and killing freedom. Roughly a quarter of our people are determined to fight. The others are silent. A quarter? Okay, let's not do that right now. A quarter of our people? That's insane. Are you serious? Let's not do that. <laughs> let's wait on let's wait on the new world order for a bit, alright? That, that's perhaps too uh, too harsh for now. Agitator sounds nice though. Let's do it. We'll build some agitators. <clears throat> Short pre-recorded speeches motivating people in nearby workplaces to increase their effort. This, will, this raises work. Yep. We can do that here. Which I do want. We'll do that... Uh, we can do that here. Ooh. Building it there would be nice. Like... There. We had to build three. Two... And then over here. At this wall drill. There we go. What's this? Food theft. Someone has stolen 15 food rations from the stockpiles. People are saying it was the Londoners gathering supplies for their journey. It seems this ridiculous idea of leaving for London is gaining traction. Send guards to catch them. Guards may retrieve the stolen food. Let them be. Discontent will rise. 
Sing guards to catch him. Guard succeeded. Nice. We got the rations back. Sorry, Londoners. You ain't going nowhere. One of our people... No, we got our first death. Poet's suicide. Our first death was a poet that killed himself. Sir, one of our people has committed suicide. In his spare time, he wrote poems about loss, suffering, and the death of hope. Our propaganda center waged a campaign against him to protect our people from his influence. Now people might blame us for his suicide, unless we make it look like he drank himself to death. Do it and burn his poems. Discontent will rise slightly. Stay away from him. Hope will fall. Do it. What's this? <clears throat> First death. One of our people has just died. Sickness, accidents, and deadly cold will keep claiming lives in this harsh world. We need a way to dispose the body. Yes, I'll consider proposing a law. I can't sign anything into law yet. But don't worry, I will. Wait, how long will it take before I can sign a new law? Two days? Oh no. Oh no. That's too long. Why did it have to be now for that to happen? I don't want to send you to Tesla City. Actually, I think I'm going to end the stream here. I gotta stop at some point. <laughs> this is getting more fun than I thought it would ever be. Uh, save. This is gonna be stream state, yes. And thank you everyone for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to come by tomorrow for more streamy goodness. We'll probably actually play more of this. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this. This is more exciting than I thought it was going to be. But thank you, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Have a good one. See you tomorrow.